Hey there YouTube, another Taurus High Point production coming at you. My name's Ray Shepard. We're going to jump into the rabbit hole of the world of black powder. No, that's not black powder. No, but it is in the world of black powder. We're going to hit the chemical makeup real quick. What's in it? 45% potassium nitrate, 9% charcoal, 6% sulfur, 9% potassium chloride, 11% sodium benzoate, 6% dicyanidamide, 4% dextrin, 1% water. Why, if you look at it all and all the ingredients and volume, it's 60% black powder. It was, it came about in 1975 by a man by the name of Dan Pollack. Now, if it's been around since 1975, hmm, I'll grant it, in the world of flintlock, now, it's no good. I, I wouldn't use it in a flintlock rifle. I've only had one flintlock rifle, and, uh, and that's kind of why I've gotten away from the flintlock and gave it to somebody else. And he's enjoying it, using it on his own. Uh, but no, I no. Uh, I like the percussions and uh, the percussion revolvers and my inline rifles and my percussion rifles. Pyrodex is easier for me to find. Okay. Right now you're looking at about $28 a pound. I can go get Blackhorn at $100 for 8 ounces. And then $100 for 8 ounces, and I can't use it in anything percussion. I can only use it in my inlines. Ha! No. I have to get special breech plugs, black horn breech plugs to use it in my 209 rifles. And then I have to step up in the world of what type of 209 primer I use. Whether I use the low-end primers or I use the relatively expensive primers. No. Yes, I'm saving a little bit money. Yeah, I got to put out a little more in the end when I clean this stuff up. Because if you don't do a thorough job taking apart your percussion rifles and cleaning everything down, making sure it all touches the hot, soapy water. At some point when you get done using this stuff, the day of, <coughs> if you pull a barrel off your hawking, scrub it out real good, clean off the nipper real well, brush out the the fire hole and fire chamber wheel wall and reassemble the rifle just wiping off the side plate or lock plate and the, the hammer within two weeks, three weeks it's going to rust the lock plate and the hammer you're going to have to pull it apart and yeah sure I'm paying out a little more at the end use but I'm saving so much more in the long run. Does it work in a flintlock? No. Not at all. Uh, does it work in a, a, a cap and ball? Yeah. Now there's going to be those that are going to tell you, Oh, I used it once and it just hesitated in my cap and ball. I won't use it ever again. Well. I got a video of me using it in a percussion 
style Kentucky pistol. I'll link that in the, the description. And you can see how while that hesitates, doesn't hesitate my revolvers either. Matter of fact, I think I got a video of me shooting my revolvers out there. That's what I was using in them. The Pirate XP. I don't use black powder. Not that there's anything wrong with black powder. If you can find it, if you can make it, kudos. That's just easier for me. I like to spend more time shooting than I do making the stuff to shoot with since I'm already... I cast my own balls. Uh, I make my own percussion caps. And time is of the essence for me. So, what a 40 hour a week job doing the other little add ins that I do for my shooting sport. Making my propellant. Yeah, I could, but then I would never shoot it. I'd never get the chance to shoot it. So I use the substitutes. Uh, do I prefer the Pirate X? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, I, I can go get Buckhorn 209 or Blackhorn 209, whatever it is, for, you know, $100 for 8 ounces. And then it won't look work in my cap locks. And then I've got to go buy special breech plugs and buy special primers or high-end primers that... Blackhorn 209, nah, Pyrodex 209 primer, boom all the time. Rather it's the P or the RS or the Select, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, there are other people out there that use this and show you the pluses and minuses. Idaho and Show, go check him out. He does that, like I said, that Pirate X P versus Pirate X RS versus Pirate X Select. Jake over at uh, Everything Black Powder. Woo! He shows you how to make your own black powder, how to puck it, I, what the uh, Pirate X does in a, a black powder rifle. So, I mean, in a uh, flintlock rifle. It can be used, but there's no great success behind it. So a lot of people just don't. I wouldn't. I've tried it, and it that was too much of a headache for me. Um, but yes, if you're coming into the world of black powder and don't have a lot of funds backing you up and don't have a Patreon and don't have companies sending you stuff, and it's coming out of your own pocket. Out the door, I think it was like $29.68 after tax and everything for a pound. So say 30 bucks out the door. You get something shipped to you one day, and you get a little of those, those little silica gels in there that's don't eat me you throw that in there that'll stay forever I use the silicon both in my substitute as well as my uh, smokeless powder it keeps this has been a Taurus high point production I choose therefore I am responsible <laughs>